with me. Hi, so my name is uh, Hassan Ahmed and I'm uh, Chief Executive Officer of Affirm Networks. Uh, Affirmed uh, is about a five-year-old company. Our focus has been from the get-go to really help operators transform their mobile networks. Um, and why do operators want to transform their mobile networks? Well, the real driving force behind this transformation that, that has now come to be known as NFV or Network Function Virtualization really has to do with the fact that um, access to the internet using mobile devices, the popularity of the iPhone in particular, is has driven traffic on these networks in amounts that operators just didn't anticipate when they first built mobile networks. And just building more of the same doesn't get the economics right for the operator. So they really need something brand new. And what we're doing is transforming those clunky, large, um, a custom hardware-based networks into software-based networks that are first of all economically viable for the operator so they can scale quickly as demand on their network grows as people start watching videos on their iPhones and so forth and the other piece of the puzzle really is to give them service flexibility it takes a long time for the operator to do something interesting and creative for the consumer in in the old network architecture and what this will do is make it really easy and straightforward for operators to innovate and bring new services to consumers. Both of those factors are major drivers in, um, in, in this transformation and adoption of what we call network function virtualization. It happens to be really important in the mobile space where there's so much growth today. But if you look out over a long period of time, you will see that over time, every part of the communication network, both wired and wireless internet and so on, will all become uh, software-based. And I think that's a really exciting uh, prospect. It's not like uh, we change the network every day, but the, the notion of transforming the network in its entirety over, let's say, a period of a decade is a very exciting notion. And um, uh, we'll be able to look back on it and say, wow, networks are built differently and they're managed and monetized differently than they used to be. Hassan, when a, when a carrier or a service provider is starting to adopt NFV and, and virtualize different pieces of their uh, uh, platform, how do you strategize that? Like, where do you start? Do you start with what's easy, or do you start with what's going to make the most immediate business impact? Sure. Well, you know, it, it varies a lot by the operator, as it turns out. So, so just by, by way of background, um, at, a firm, um, what, at a firm, we're involved in some 25 or so commercial deployments now around the world, which I think is larger than anybody else. And this is a real uh, testament to the adoption of the technology. It's early days, but it's major operators are moving forward in big ways with this uh, technology now. So how do you start? I mean, you have a big network. Um, you know, mobile has uh, focused on, focusing on the mobile network has been a has been a major factor in this adoption, and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that a lot of the growth and hence a lot of the capital spend today is in the mobile space. Within the mobile space, what we find is all kinds of different starting points. We have operators who are starting with machine-to-machine -machine and automotive type of applications, so bringing infotainment and to to your to your automobile, um, because these networks need to be able to support a very different set of economics and a very different level of flexibility than what the traditional consumer network has done. At the same time, we have operators all around the world who are saying, you know what, uh, I just need to start transforming my network. So as the move to LTE, uh, which is happening uh, all uh, you know in Asia and Europe and so on, they're building brand new networks, and so we have some of those. And we also find uh, operators looking at their wholesale business and saying, you know what, I'm going to start deploying it uh, here. And then the objective, however, of all of these operators is to have this trend, the technology kind of really permeate their networks broadly. So it's really just a starting point question. Where do you start? Where do you try things out? Where do you get them going? And then, uh, and then how do you expand into the rest of the network?